Hi guys, um, I hope you're well. Uh, the Afghan Cricket Board has finally announced their squad um, against Ireland for the three ODIs. Um, obviously, very important games. It's as part of the FTP. Um, and uh, the winners will obviously shorten their journey to the 2023 World Cup. So, uh, very crucial games. Um, the Afghan squad announcement was long overdue due to some um, visa issues and COVID-19 restrictions. Um, but the squad is finally out. Um, and with the inclusion of some new faces and new names, um, it's probably the first time that the majority of Afghan fans um, are happy and you know showing satisfaction with the squad. Um, so let's go through it together and see who are in. Um, starting from the skip Azhar, um, his captaincy is probably the main reason why he's there. Um, his presence in the team has been one of the most heated topics in social media for quite a while now. Um, but according to ACB, he's the most suitable candidate to uh, lead the team at this crucial time. Um, and that's pretty much um, it about him. Uh, next, uh, let's talk about the paces. Um, we have Naveen al Haq, uh, Yamin Ahmad Zai, and Saeed Ahmad Sherzad as fast bowlers. Um, Naveen al Haq is the only Afghan bowler um, who played quite a few franchise leagues um, around the world, uh, from the Caribbean League to um, Lanka Premier League, BPL, and so on. Um, and he's been performing quite well, uh, so I think he deserves to be there. Um, the other name is Yamin Ahmad Zai, who's also a regular performer on domestic level. And someone who doesn't really get the recognition that he deserves and the reward that he deserves. So I think it's a good pick um, and um, you know a good chance for him to showcase his talent um, on international level. Um, Syed Shirzad um, is a lefty and he's probably picked for um, the left-right combination purposes. I was really keen to see Fazal Haq Farooqi in the squad. Um, he was um, outstanding in the Under-19 World Cup. Um, his pace and variation were noticeable for an IPL team in India, but unfortunately, uh, not our own selectors at home. Um, he was uh, part of the Kings XI Punjab camp ahead of the IPL, um, where I'm sure he gained some valuable experience. Um, yes, I agree that he is not very exposed to international cricket, and that's because he didn't have that opportunity yet. Um, that experience doesn't come from sitting at home. You know, you have to support players like that um, and give them chances so that they can progress. Um, a good example would be uh, Shaheen Afridi and Naseem Shah from Pakistan. They were both young. They played the Under-19 World Cup. Um, but soon after, they were picked by PCB and uh, they gave them back-to-back -back chances. And now they are the key bowlers. Um, coming to the openers, um, the opening try we have is Rahmanullah Gurbaz, uh, Javed Ahmadi and Usman Ghani. Um, one of the reasons why Afghanistan was never able to um, produce a solid opening pair is because of the unnecessary changes in regular intervals. Um, you will never see Afghanistan with the same opening pair in back-to-back -back series. Um, uh, Javed Ahmadi and Usman Ghani both played for the national team previously, but they were repeatedly picked and dropped, um, and that kind of led to the failure of them um, you know, gaining the confidence and securing their spot. Um, I'm really happy for Gurbaz. He's new, uh, you know, he's very young. Um, he's working really hard on his fitness. And as the youngest captain, he led the youngest team of the Shvagiza Cricket um, Tournament to... Uh, the championship of that league, uh, which says enough about his temperament. So I hope this time the management, um, you know, gives the openers some time to find themselves. Um, the trial and error method have not really worked. So they really have to change their approach um, in order to find a solid opening pair um, in a good team in all, you know, in general for, for the upcoming World Cup. On the other hand, um, openers like Muhammad Shahzad, um, Hazratullah Zazai and Ibrahim Zadran missed out this time. Um, the presence of Shahzad is something that I doubt anyone else can bring to the team. Um, he's very active behind the stamps. Um, the entertaining factor that he has really brings the team together, um, which I think is really important. Um, we all remember the record-breaking innings of Zazai against Ireland um, in the shorter format. Um, his presence against Ireland would have certainly put some extra pressure on the opposition. Um, Ibrahim Zadran is another young promising player um, who's not in the squad. Um, but he's definitely uh, someone to watch out for in the in the coming years. Um, Rashid, Nabi and uh, Mojib are obviously the most talked about Afghan cricketers. Um, it's hard to keep them out of the equation in any format, uh, be it Test, ODI or T20. Um, they have a wealth of experience internationally and in doing second to none in their respective roles, um, leading the ICC ranking. So uh, their selection in the squad is a no-brainer. Um, and you need players like them to you know, get you over the line in such important games. Um, we also have other deserving spinners like Qais Ahmad, Zahir Khan, um, and I'm sure if they are given a chance in the future, uh, we will see some sort of competition in, in the spin department. 
Uh, Rahmatshah and Hashmatullah are the two players that you just can't overlook in the longer formats. Uh, they've delivered during some really tough situations. Um, the 2019 World Cup was certainly one of them. Um, they're, they're probably the most consistent and reliable players Afghanistan has ever produced. Um, Najibullah Zadran has also lived up to the expectations um, in the middle order. Um, he has a unique batting style uh, and always very handy in the middle order. Um, so again, I think um, that's a good pick. Um, Azmatullah Omarzai um, is another new name in the squad. Um, he played for Afghanistan in the 2018 and the 19 World Cup. Um, since then, he's been um, very unlucky with his um, fitness. Uh, he had quite a few injuries um, where he missed out on quite a few um, opportunities. Uh, but he's a regular player in the domestic cricket, um, and I'm sure he will make it count um, if given a chance in the playing 11. Uh, Gulbuddin Naib is in the squad as a fast bowling all-rounder. Um, he's been reasonably good in his international appearances. Um, Sharafuddin Ashraf is said to be picked based on his performance in domestic cricket. Um, he's another young, um, promising spin all-rounder, uh, but he will have to overtake players like Nabi to make it to the um, playing eleven. So yeah, um, that will require some doing. So that's the Afghan squad for the upcoming three games against Ireland. Um, considering the playing conditions and the opposition, I think um, it's a good combination overall. Um, putting up a good fight is what the Afghan team is known for. So um, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, now it's your time to let me know in the comment sections of what you think. Um, and uh, that's it from me. Um, yeah, thank you.